All right, guys, welcome back to Prince TV. If this is your first time of coming across to this platform, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so that anytime I upload my video, I will be the first person to be notified and then you know what this video is all about. All right, now I'm going to give you guys some updates about some Tunisia immigrants who are trying to arrive the coast of Italy. At the end of the day, they find that 39 person is dead. You understand? Now, let me give you guys the article how all these things are playing here. All right, it said Tunisia, at least 39 migrants drawn in shipwrecks. All right, it said here, two boats have capsized off Tunisia, leaving at least 39 people dead. The shipwreck happened in an ongoing race of the number of migrants risking the Mediterranean crossing to Europe. So guys, this is not a new story anyway, but it's a new story in the sense that some Tunisia immigrants, even at this point, they are still trying to arrive at the coast of Italy, whereby the shipwrecks have happened now, and then 39 persons have declared dead. Let's go a little bit on the article. He said here, rescuer pulled 165 survivors from the boat out of the sea to safety. To safety. The defense ministry said, according to the news agency, a defense ministry spokesman said later that the research had been a temporarily suspended due to the night's fall and bad weather. Right, so that is the update there for you guys to know that, you know, some Tunisia immigrants, even at this time, they are still trying to arrive in the coast of uh, uh, Italy. And then now they declare that about 39 migrants of the Tunisian have declared dead. You understand? So if you should plus 165 which was being rescued, uh, plus the 39 dead, that is to let you know, they were a kind of like a 204 a person boarded in that boat. Uh, but the shipwreck, the uh, rescue, we are able to kind of like uh, recognize or kind of like uh, take about 165 immigrants. And then they find that 30 percent is dead. And then for now, they suspended the uh, kind of like uh, research or searching those ones who miss in the uh, game. You understand? Because of the bad weather and the bad condition in the sea. So guys, this is to let you know that people are still arriving here in Italy every day by day. So it's another update for you guys to know how all these things is going. So without wasting time, let's kick into another update and see how it look like. TV. Guys, this update is to inform you guys, to let you guys know how immigrants trying to escape out of their continent to arrive particularly here in this country known as Italy. If you guys watched the last video I did was upon a time concerning this kind of issue, we have also immigrants we are trying to hide in a truck in order to arrive here in Italy. As God may have it, then they try to catch these people or get these people through the carabinieri. Now, there is another update again, the same similar story, whereby some immigrants are hiding inside the container in order to arrive here in this country known as Italy. Now, let me give you guys the article without wasting time so that you can know what is going on in this country of Italy day by day. He said here, 55 migrants found in ship uh, containers in West uh, Turkey. He said, Turkey's authority have reported found 55 migrants from neighboring Iran in two shipping containers at a port in the Turkish Aizmad province. You understand? He said, the state news agency Anadolu said the uh, destination was Italy. So, all where they are heading is Italy. There are many articles here. Now, let's try to debate and then kind of like uh, balance this equation. Every time people are complaining that asylum, 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 asylum. But still, yes, people are still arriving in this country in different means and different angles. Guys, the rate at which the Italian government are uh, kind of like uh, in emergency with immigrants is too much. You understand? So these are things we have to put into consideration that Italy are having a lot of load on them. All right, guys. So still on the story of immigration, about five immigrants have found dead in the Canary Island of Spain. Guys, the rate at which people are lost in their life trying to arrive in Europe is too much. African leaders, they need to do something. Guys, when we are making this video or when you see this kind of video, please try to share this video so that people can still see. We have to save life. We that are living in the Europe already have to save those ones who are at home to know that, you know, to arrive in the European side this time around is not easy. Now, look at what is going on in different places. Now, five immigrants have still confirmed that trying to arrive the Canary Island. In tanto, you guys can see the article there on board. So that is to let you know that the European area is not easy, again, just like before. Now, everything is getting out of hand, whereby immigrants are trying to arrive. Look at the case of the one of these uh, Tunisia immigrants who are trying to arrive in the coast of Italy. 
Now, what is the problem of Tunisia? Most of the Tunisian people are going to Tunisia to live. And then Tunisia immigrants are coming here in this day. So that is to let you know, there is a kind of like a political contemplation of immigration in war. So guys, that is the update I have for you. Without wasting time, let's go straight to another article and see how it looks like. <laughs> Alright guys, this update is to inform you guys how Germany have deported some Afghanistan immigrants. Now I want to ask a question for those ones who are really living in Germany. Why is it that German always love deporting immigrants? What is the secret of this deportation? What kind of like led to all this kind of deportation? Because you know me, I see all these things based on article and then I have to come and inform you guys to know how Germany are deporting immigrants. There is one uh, kind of like uh, update I saw as well. I was unable to cover that news. Whereby Germany deported about um, um, some Gambians, even Nigerians. And then they are putting all this thing in a secret uh, places. Now I want to know from you guys who are really living in Germany. You should tell us why German is always trying to deport immigrants who are living over in that place. Now, most things they do that they kind of like a baffled people is that they will not return these immigrants to the first country which they landed that is the european side let me say for example i landed here in italy now i go to germany they will not try to bring these people back to italy they will take them back to the uh, country of origin why is this things like this i want to know from those ones who are living in germany please guys try to give me more details on what happened or what goes on whereby these people try to deport immigrants back home now let's go to the article so that you guys can see uh, what i'm trying to state here we are just going to read a little bit article he said here more than 1000 afghanistan uh, asylum seekers deported from germany he said 26 Afghanistan uh, men arrived in Koba early Wednesday on a deportation flight from Germany. Over 1,000 Afghanistan asylum seekers have not been returned from Germany since 2016. Alright, he said here, on Wednesday, March 10, a chartered uh, plane operated by Spanish company Privilege Style landed in the Afghanistan capital Koba shortly after 7 a.m. carrying 26 Afghanistan men. It was the 37th uh, deportation flight from Germany to Afghanistan since December 2016, bringing to 1015 the number of asylum seekers sent back to Afghanistan since then. Guys, there are many articles here. Just what I want you guys to do for me, like I said before, give me the reason why, because now the rate at which Germany are operating in deporting immigrants is very bad. The other day, they deported some uh, Gambians back home. And then the worst part of this issue is that none of the African um, uh, uh, leaders will come out and question these people. Why you deport immigrants who are living in your country? You know, for you to deport somebody back to his country of origin, you must have to state a tangible reason if this person have committed crime or not. Because if it happens to be someone have already seek asylum somewhere and then coming to your country, then you, the German people, are deporting this immigrant back. And at the end of the day, these people will come out to be telling us they want to give us EU parts, give us this, give us that. But they are doing bad to immigrants. So guys, this is to let you know that, you know, the rate at which the immigration system is working here in Europe uh, is not the way it's supposed to be. Because you cannot just come out and then be deporting people without giving any tangible reason. Now, those of you who are living in Germany, please guys, be careful uh, so that you guys will not fall the victim of this deportation because these people, they are very uh, kind of like a street deporting immigrants without stating uh, some reasons. So you guys who are living there in Germany, try to give me why German governments love deporting immigrants back home. This is what I really want to know. And then for those ones who have more information there in Germany, please guys, Forward this information on my Instagram. We need to block this news so that African leaders can see how their children are living here in Europe, whereby we are being intimidated with different uh, governments. You understand? Because the EU, tomorrow they will come and they say they want to form the EU parts to give the Dublin law, to do this, do that. They will be talking advantage here to front and back. At the end of the day, they will be deporting immigrants. Now, 
I don't just know how to kind of like uh, put this issue because it's somehow annoying to be deporting people after many years spending in the country trying to make it. They don't consider anything. They try to deport people back. So let me know what you think in this issue of deportation. So guys, let me know what you think about this issue of deportation. Why uh, this uh, German government love deporting immigrants. And then if you have not followed me on my Instagram, please guys try to follow me on my Instagram. That place you can forward me any message, anything that is happening in your city. You want everyone to see how it is going. You forward it to my Instagram, message me there. Then we bring it to publish. Everybody see how everything is going. Till next time again, we'll be together. I remain your boy, Prince TV. Ciao.